everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. Welcome. Um, this is my weekly video. I've been excited to make it just because um, my Crojo is back now that school is out. <laughs> and yeah, I have, a, I have a few things to share with you. So um, today, if you, if it even matters, today is Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. And let me go ahead and start with finished objects. I have um, some aliens that I finished. I showed them to you on my last video and they were in progress. So my aliens are finished. And the pattern is up. So if you go to my Etsy shop, I will try to remember to put a link in my description box. Um, it's Valerie's Cuddly Cat. Is there a crochet on the end of it? I'm not sure. I can't remember. My Etsy shop wasn't exactly the name I wanted to give it, but um, anyway. So this is my basic alien. And this is the alien with antenna. The antenna are just kind of, you know, floppy. That's just the way I wanted to do them. Um, but, you know, they stand up pretty good too. So there we go. It's about seven, eight inches tall. I used a G-hook and worsted weight yarn for mine, um, and they work up really fast. The arms, especially the fingers, might look a little daunting, but they're really very easy. What they are is they're just um, chains, and then three double crochets, and then slip stitches, and then you just repeat it. So they're not hard. They're not hard at all. So there we go. Um, the the variations I'm working on, I've kind of put those aside for a while. Um, I got just kind of frustrated with it. So <laughs> well, I'll see how well the aliens sell themselves. And then if people are you know, liking that, then I'll go ahead and put the variations out there. Um, but anyway, that's um, on my Etsy shop. I think it's $3 is what I put down. So head on over there if you'd like to buy a pattern. Speaking of patterns... Um, these are finished objects, but they are finished objects that have been finished for a while, and they're usually up on my my wall back there. But I took them down. Oh, this one's got some a. Uh, oh, I I have them sticking on the wall like on a nail, and so when I pulled it off the wall, the some of the stuffing came out. Um. So anyway, I made these last year, the year before, I don't know, year before I think, and these are my firecrackers. And these are also a pattern on Etsy. So um, if, you, if you're interested, I just thought I would put these, you know, out there because 4th of July is coming and they are super easy to make, super fun to, um, you know, use different, different patterns. You know, I like to have the center white so you can see the face, but you could do it any color you want. You know, you can make the top red, the middle blue, and the bottom white, any color, pom-poms, any color. Um, super easy. And mine don't stand, but you can make them stand. I had I wrote in the pattern that you could put something in it to make it stand. And mine will stand, but they'll stand better And if you put, like, I think I said plastic canvas or cardboard. And then you could even weight the bottom of them if you wanted to with whatever you wanted to weight them with. Mine are just stuffed. Um... So yeah, just put these out here to shamelessly plug my pattern that is for sale on Etsy. <laughs> All right, um, works in progress. I told you that I am getting my Crojo back after finishing those big projects that I had to work on. Yeah, okay, anyway. <laughs> um, so I, I had been taking a break from pretty much everything except those, the blanket and the um, well, the afghan and the quilt that I was making for my niece for her graduation from high school. Um, so I w had taken a break from my Feel Better Friends dolls, but I am back! Now, don't let the pins in her eyes scare you. She kind of looks like a voodoo doll or something. Ah! Um, but I have not sewn the eyes on yet, so I used pins to attach the eyes. I used a ton. Um, I don't usually use pins, but I did this time, I don't know why. So here's the doll. Um, it's for a little girl who is going to start treatment for leukemia. 
So that's why she's bald. I need to make her a wig. Um, her mother requested a wig. So, um, yeah. So she's in progress. I have a little bit of work left to do on her. But it feels nice to be back in the doll making business again. <laughs> Not business, but you know what I mean. And this interesting object. Any idea? Mm -hmm. Looks like a bowl, doesn't it? You know what it is? It is Charlie Brown's head. Charlie Brown. Hope it ends up being more round than that. Probably when I stuff it, it will. But this is my Charlie Brown that I had put aside for a while because of projects. Um, if you've been around my channel for a while, you've seen him. It's been a few months. A couple months, whatever. I'm trying to find you a good picture here. This was a paid-for pattern. Um, so that's what Charlie Brown's going to look like, hopefully, when he's done. And paid-for pattern. Um... Where is the first page of the pattern? So I can tell you who it's by. Uh, Mamo Swala. And I don't... Oh, it says Anne Marie. If you look up Charlie Brown pattern on Etsy, I'm sure it'll come right up. Um, if you're interested. So it has been a delight to work with. Very delightful. Very easy. Let me get his little things feet. So I made the body, the the you know everything. I made up to here, and then it got put away for a while. So this week I finished the neck. I usually just keep going in my amigurumi, so I don't have to sew the neck, the head to the neck. I usually just make it a continuous piece. But usually the first time I make a pattern. I try, <laughs> I try to follow the pattern as closely as I can. And so this pattern has the head separate, um, which I thought, okay, we'll do the head separate. So I have done, um, I, I did this all this week, last couple days. So, uh, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, so I've done the increases and then the rows that are the same. And now I'm ready to do, do the decreases that will make it hopefully a round head for Charlie Brown. So that is a current project. Um, just because I was in the mood to cro crochet, I have too much time on my hands now. Well, I don't know if I can say too much time, but um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I'm also organizing my yarn. Um, I keep my... Whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> Woo. I keep my scraps. Like when I have scraps from a project or something, like if they're little, I just throw all the scraps in my little yarn bowl there. And it was heaping over. So I took a couple days and just spent a little bit of time each day um, going through the scraps. Um, my scraps that are... My yarn scraps that are smaller than, an, than 12 inches... Um, they go into a bag that I could potentially use as stuffing in some, at some point in the future. Um, and then if a scrap of yarn is 12 inches to 10 yards, then it goes into, hold on, here I go again. Um, that second drawer from the top. Let's see if I can point to it. Right there. It goes into that drawer. And I'll be talking more about that drawer probably next week or in the in the coming weeks because it has my, I call them magic balls, which is just my scraps that are 12 inches to 10 yards. They're tied together. And I made the, you know, a year on Zoom. you think I'd be able to, to figure out where to point. Um, I did my cat up there. You, can, you can't see them really well, but that's my, my multicolored cat. I used my magic balls to do that. So I, my next step is to start tying, because I've, I've got magic balls in that drawer, but I've also got yarn ready to tie. So that's my next project is to work on that this summer. Um, we get that organized. And then I figure, then I should have quite a few magic balls that I could make another project with. So if you have a suggestion of what I could make, 
let me know. I really, like I said, I love my cat that's up there. Um, so I'd like to do a big project, I think. Um, the way that the scraps are tied together, I think I call them magic balls because they're tied together with a magic knot. <laughs> Um, so it does leave a little knot. Of course, if you're going to tie something together, you're probably going to have a knot. So, and it's like every 12 inches to 10 yards. So I don't think it's really suitable for a blanket. I guess I could do a blanket, but I prefer to do the amigurumi anyway. And, um, yeah, so I'm looking for an amigurumi project that I could use my magic balls to make. Um, what else have I been doing? I made a movie and stitch video yesterday. Um, I went like a whole week, the first week of June, after I finished the blanket and the afghan and the quilt, I went like a whole week and didn't do anything, <laughs> any crafty stuff. Um, so yeah, that is, I guess the last time I talked to you, I was still finishing up. I'd finished up the afghan, but then I had I had just about finished the quilt. So, yeah, all that's done. A little disappointed about that. I gave them to my niece uh, a week and a half ago. Yeah. I hope she likes them. <laughs> kind of disappointing that I, I don't know. If, but anyway, I'm not going to go there. Um, yeah. So, wow, that was faster than I thought. I um, made a plan. I have, after this week, I have six weeks off. Um, I'm still going to be doing school stuff just because I want to. Um... But I'm going to try to use this time for me and crocheting and I have a couple cleaning projects and yard projects that I'm working on. Um, I did make a list of some crochet stuff that I want to work on in the next six weeks. I want to finish Charlie Brown. He's almost done. I want to get back into making one of, one of my Feel Better Friend dolls a week. Ta-da! Um... I I think you're going to be hearing and seeing a little bit about um, some projects I want to make for um, Amber at Ooh Ah Crochet. She does a fun, not a fundraiser, she does a, um, a project where she collects different items for the kids at the school where her kids go to. To school at. <laughs> that was a weird sentence. Blah. Um, but I have some ideas of what I can make. I like to make little little toys for them. Um, what else did I write down on my plan? Well, I guess maybe you'll just have to be surprised and see, you know, what comes up this summer. Um, I went to, if you saw my other, my movie and stitch video, which I know not everybody watches those, um, but I was talking about my trip to the coast. I live two and a half hours from the Pacific Ocean here in California, and so I drove over there last Thursday, stayed Thursday night, and came back on a Friday, and it was all right. I was think I was just still too keyed up from work to really, like, be able to relax and enjoy it, so I'm probably going to go again later this summer. Even if I don't stay the night, I can, it's not too bad of a day, you know, to drive up there and drive back in a day. I mean, it's a lot, but not too bad. Um, yeah, I've been working in my yard. All of my poppies have since died. They usually start dying back in May, and now they're just brown and crumbly. And <laughs> so now I finally have time to go out there and hoe the poppies up and rake, rake up the poppy leaves and everything. And so it's kind of rewarding because... Um, once they're gone, then everything looks so nice and neat and clean again. So I've been doing that. Um, I had a little surprise today. Not a good surprise. I was sitting, I have a, I have a couch in my garage. About six months ago, I moved. I have a, I have a sleeper sofa that matches my sofa in my 
um, living room. Well, the sleeper sofa nobody ever used. So, and I needed the space. So I just, and they're not easy to move, but I pushed it out of the house one day and put it into my garage. So I have a, a sofa in the garage, a couch, sofa, whatever you want to call it. And occasionally I'll sit out there after I'm done with my yard work or something. So I had finished working in the yard this morning and I was sitting there. I must have sat there for like an hour because I was talking to a colleague about something. And when I got up to go inside the house, I looked down and less than six inches from my foot, there was a web with a black widow spider in it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not afraid of spiders. I just have a healthy respect for black widow spiders. Um, I do not know how on earth I managed to not get bit. I'm so glad I didn't get bit by the black widow spider. But I'm thinking, I'm I'm always like fidgety and moving around and stuff. And I, th I don't know how I managed to like not bump his web or her web with my foot and then cause her to attack me. But <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. We have a lot of black widows at least around here in the Central Valley in California. A lot of black widow spiders, and they're kind of resistant to pesticides. Um, you have to get, I think, certain special kinds. I don't know. Um, so it's just, you know, something we live with here. But, yeah. Yeah. Was not happy to see that black widow spider six inches from my foot. <laughs> it's like, no, go away. Um, so what else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So I'm looking forward to having a lot of crochet time this summer and I'm in a creative mood and just going to pull out some projects that I have, haven't have had a chance to look at in a while because I was busy with other things. Uh, I do have a couple new projects. I know I have one that's brand new. Um, I'll let you in on the secret. I have been commissioned to make... Um, I made someone a um, Queen Elizabeth and that person wants me to make her a Prince Philip to go with her queen. There is not a pattern by that the one who made the pattern for the Queen Elizabeth. Um, there isn't a pattern specifically for Prince Philip but I know there's that that person has done lots of patterns um, for dolls. I have the book, the Iconic Women book, which I love, but she's also done several different men um, on her Etsy shop, I think. I can't remember her name. Uh, um, so I just thought I would look at some of her other patterns and put together a Prince Philip. So that's going to come this summer, hopefully. I've kind of gotten a schedule. Um, Derek, the nitwit, was talking about how what he's doing, like every day of the week, he's gonna, he's working on a different project. You know, Mondays, he's going to work on that one. Tuesdays, he's going to work on that project. Um, I kind of do that with my Feel Better Friend dolls. I have, like, um, Sundays I do the arms. Mondays I do the body. Tuesdays I do the clothes. Wednesdays I do the hair. I'm a little behind this week, I know. <laughs> Thursdays I kind of do any of the finishing touches. And then Fridays I mail them out. Um, that's just kind of a schedule that works for me to kind of keep me on track. Um, otherwise, it's too easy to say, oh, I'll get to it. You know, I'll get to it. So um, I kind of, for the summer anyway, I'm kind of doing the same thing as Derek is doing. And so I have like Charlie Brown um, starting next week. I'm going to go work on him like Mondays. And then I forget what's Tuesdays. I think Prince Philip might be Tuesdays. Just to kind of mix it up and do something fun different. So anyway, um, I'm going to end here and I hope you've enjoyed seeing my few little projects I had. Look, look forward to more that are going to come and I hope everybody's doing great and I will talk to you later. It's going to be hot in California. Well, at least in where I'm, where I'm living, it's going to be up to 111 the next couple days. Yeah. Whoo, whoo, whoo. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.